Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a journal with me process. I'm going to be continuing with documenting our wedding anniversary where we went away for a long weekend. I've already documented part of it and you can see that process in journal with me episode 28. I documented the beautiful sunflowers at Kearney Gardens. If you haven't seen that video then I'll link it below for you. So the ephemera I have today is a paper bag with a sticker, a receipt from dinner and a whole bunch of photos. So I'm starting by playing around with all the bits and pieces and figuring out where I'm going to be placing it all. I do have a lot of photos and I don't need all of them on display. There is a paper bag pocket which has been tea dyed and also a corner tuck spot which will come in handy for hiding some of them away. It also makes the spread really interactive. I wanted to show you my new vintage linen printables. This is a new pack, pack number three, that has gone up in my Etsy shop. I will leave the link below for you in case you are interested. It's a really bright and colourful pack with lots of fun florals and beautiful stitching and it has a really playful and happy vibe to it and I'm really wanting to play with them so I'm going to see if I can fit one or two of them on this spread. So I play around with a few of the linens to see which ones I might like to use on these pages. I'm thinking that I will cover up some of that polka dot paper because I'm not massively keen on it and I really like this blue and white linen here, it's really pretty. I also thought I might cover up this tea dyed paper bag a little bit. So here you can see I've actually printed this linen a little bit smaller. I think this one was printed four to a page, the larger size one was printed two to a page. And I'm just cutting it out and then I'm going to use my glue stick to attach it down on the page. And I'm actually going to attach it on its side at the top of the page and I really like how that looks. And I'm going to use this linen to add some journaling later. You saw me earlier in the video play around with my photos and I decided to staple this one to the top of the tuck spot and I'm just using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to do that. And then I just slip another couple of photos into the tuck spot. And then with this linen I'm going to just use it as a bit of a background piece and I'm just going to layer that underneath the photo that I'll place on top and I'm going to be sticking the photo in with double sided tape. And I'm going to add some washi tape to this page and this one is from MT and it's also the washi tape I used on my previous spread where I documented about the sunflowers at Kearney Gardens so it just ties all the pages together. So I've turned the page and this photo is of Calcott Manor, it's where we stayed and here I'm just cutting around the sticker on the paper bag because I know I want to use that on this page. And the paper bag doesn't actually make it into the final spread, just because I didn't like how it looked, but it did actually contain some sweets when we left Calcutt Manor. Mm -hmm. 
And again, I'm just going in with some of that same washi tape just so that it keeps all these pages tied together because I still have to document the beginning part of this trip. And I'm just coming in with a glue stick because that sticker is no longer sticky. <laughs> decided to add these photos into an envelope because they kept slipping out of the tuck spot and also just fills up a bit of that empty space on that page. I've done some journaling off camera on top of that vintage linen and I have this 6x4 journaling card from a 12x12 cut apart sheet. I think it was from the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection and I'm just playing around with the photos on the card as I was trying to work out the best side to attach them. I wanted to add some journaling so I needed to make sure there was enough pink flowers to write on top of. And I'm just coming in with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to staple them down to the card. I found it one of the quickest ways to attach things into my journal and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm just adding some journaling about what we did in the evening. I've pulled out my Maggie Holmes sticker book because I knew there were some labels in there and I wanted to add one to the bottom of this tuck spot. And now I'm just going to go in with some stickers. I use stickers from various different collections, but I think they're all crepe paper and Maggie Home stickers. So I've used the Marigold collection. I think I used one from the Heritage collection, and I may have also used one from the Flourish collection. What I like about the crepe paper and Maggie Home stickers is that they all go really well together so it doesn't matter that you're using different collections across the same pages. And with this sticker it's just a little bit too big so I just decided to cut it down and stick that on top of the vintage linen. I decided to add another label to this page and add some journaling. I did have to write a lot smaller on this label to get everything down that I wanted to say. And the last thing I do is draw an arrow to the sticker, but unfortunately the ink from my pen went through the paper bag onto the 6x4 journaling card, but that's okay, <laughs> it happens. And these are the finished pages. I really like how these pages turned out, and I love that I used two of my new printables. If you are interested in purchasing them, they are available right now, and the link will be in the description box for you. Now I just have the beginning part of our trip away to document. I may do that off camera, we will see. I'm not entirely sure. I really hope you enjoyed watching my journal process and how the pages came together. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.